Cloud cover is increasing in parts of West Michigan now, all thanks to an approaching system. This is a live look over downtown Grand Rapids. You can see mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, a little bit of sunshine that's still peeking through the cloud cover. But we're tracking this incoming system expected to bring widespread snow showers later on this evening and overnight tonight, mainly going to be bringing the best and the most accumulation for parts of southwest Michigan and closer towards I-94 with very limited snowfall closer towards Grand Rapids, Muskegon, and closer towards I-96. So as we take a closer look now, you can see the snow is starting to inch its way closer to Chicago. It's going to be holding off until southwest Michigan until later on this evening, especially closer towards about 7 p.m. Our temperatures currently, they're in the upper 20s to lower 30s. 26 degrees in Fremont, 29 degrees in Ionia, and 29 degrees currently in South Haven. Our day planner shows a high temperature today of 34 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will take a drop a little bit to 27 degrees by 7 p.m. with a chance of a few light flurries in Grand Rapids and the greater chance for widespread snow showers overnight tonight. Tonight's coldest temperature will be 20 degrees with winds from the west northwest between 5 to about 10 miles per hour. Winds are not expected to be quite gusty until tomorrow as we have a much larger colder air mass starting to build in. So taking a look at our future track, we're going to see the snow inching its way closer between 7 and 8 p.m. to southwest Michigan initially, gradually building up towards the north after midnight tonight and continuing throughout tomorrow morning, exiting West Michigan after 6 a.m. We're going to stay dry momentarily for the middle of Friday before lake effect snow starts to pick right back up by 5 p.m. tomorrow, gradually starting to allow for more lake effect even into parts of Saturday morning. When it comes to the lake effect into Friday night and into Saturday morning, we could see some minor accumulation as well, especially for locations closer towards the lakeshore. Now those winds, they are going to be ramping up for tomorrow, mainly coming from the northwest with wind gusts up to and exceeding 30 miles per hour right along the lakeshore. When it comes to the amount of snowfall between now and tomorrow at 6 p.m., we're going to see a swath of that snow closer towards the southeast. In fact, we could see the highest totals closer towards I-94 up to 2.1 inches in Jackson and less than an inch for I and Grand Rapids. Also keep in mind this weekend we are going to be springing forward. We're expected to change our clock times and the new sunrise on Sunday will be 758 in the morning. Our super seven day planner showing a high temperature of 34 degrees for Friday, a high temperature of 50 degrees by Monday. So that heat is building back in for next week.